If you're on a budget and looking to start a podcast or stream and aren't quite ready to spend $400 on a Shure SM7B, the Audio-Technica AT2040 might be the mic for you. We'll talk specs, do a bunch of testing, and put it head-to-head against the SM7B to find out just how good it is. Let's roll that intro. What's up, YouTube universe? This is Jacob Dark. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and that notification bell, especially if you're looking for more reviews of the latest tech-related gear and help me reach my goal of 25,000 subscribers. As always, I'll put links in the description below to every item featured in this video, so let's not waste any more time and check out this mic. The Audio-Technica AT2040 is a hypercardioid dynamic microphone and retails for $99. Inside the box, the first thing you'll find is the user manual, then a thin layer of foam, and under that your microphone wrapped in plastic, and a zip-up pouch to protect the mic should you need to transport it. It has an all-metal body with a solid mesh grille, Feels weighted in my hands at 1.3 pounds, has a plastic mount for your mic stand or boom arm, and a single XLR connection on the back. It has a frequency response of 80 Hz to 16 kHz and sensitivity of minus 53 dB. Audio Technica claims this mic features a specially designed integrated shock mount that tames any noise, shock, and vibration that might be transmitted through a mic stand, boom, or mount. Let's put that to the test. One of the benefits of using this type of mic is that you don't need a pop filter the way you normally would for a traditional condenser style microphone. Their site states, the AT2040's multi-stage foam mesh windscreen includes a non-woven filter to allow close-up use without annoying pops. Once again, let's test that. Pepper from Papado probably packs a punch. I said, Pepper from Papado probably packs a punch. As a content creator, I know how things look plays a part in your setup, so something to keep in mind when positioning this mic is the fact that it's hypercardioid, which means it's designed to pick up what's directly in front of the mic and filter out the rest. So let's say you wanted to place it on the side where you got to think about what the microphone's going to pick up and how that's going to affect your vocals. Likewise, let's say that you didn't quite want it right here on your mouth. Maybe it's blocking something in the camera's view. So you might want to have it a little bit further out. Well, again, you're going to have to think about the proximity and how it's going to affect how the microphone picks up your vocals. So just something to think about whenever you're placing your microphone so that you can get the best vocal take or vocal quality possible out of this microphone. I use the SM7B for my videos, and while it may be the most popular option, nobody watching or listening to your stream or podcast is going to complain about your audio with the AT2040 and say they really should have used an SM7B. For the same $400 the SM7B costs, you could buy the AT2040, an audio interface, and a pair of headphones and be totally equipped to focus on what matters most, your content. But for the sake of argument, let's do a head-to-head -head comparison of the same vocal take using both the AT2040 and SM7B. So we're finally back to Eagles football. Now, I don't want to hear about all this Deshaun Watson being traded to the Eagles talk. Personally, I don't want to see it. We need to give Jalen Hurts his opportunity to see what he can do. And even if we don't make a playoff run, as long as the team shows some promise this year and isn't a total bust the way it was with Carson Wentz, then I'm all for it. Switching topics, who would have thought when I made this channel that I'd be reviewing electric scooters? Well, I've had some powerful scooters like the Varla Eagle 1 and Cabo Mantis 8. I've got a powerhouse on the way that weighs 100 pounds and goes up to 56 miles per hour. 
So, what did you think? Let me know how you feel about the AT2040 and if you plan on picking one up for yourself. That's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So, until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.